Welcome to this short video on understanding market cycles. This video will give you a basic understanding of how share market cycles work, the types of asset classes there are, and how they are affected by market fluctuations, as well as common strategies to help manage risk. We will also look at some factors that you should consider when choosing an investment strategy. It's important to understand that this video is for general education purposes only and has been prepared without taking into account your objectives, financial situation or needs. Therefore, before acting on any information in this video, you should consider whether it's appropriate in light of your own personal circumstances and consider getting advice from a financial advisor. Share market volatility is when markets go up and down and it is an unavoidable part of investing. It is important to be aware of how the markets work and how market fluctuations may impact your investment, including retirement savings and KiwiSaver. Share markets move in cycles and historically have tended to recover from downturns. Your retirement savings, including KiwiSaver, are subject to these market cycles and periods of ups and downs. When share values are rising steadily, this is called a bull market. Typically, we see strong and enthusiastic buying and investor confidence. For example, we have been in a bull market around the world over the past decade. When the market has had sustained growth and an event occurs that may negatively impact share performance, this is classified as the point of maximum risk. Like we are seeing now with COVID-19 pandemic, which is impacting business and investor confidence. The flow-on effect is what's causing share markets around the world to fall substantially. When the market drops for a period of time, this is referred to as a bear market. Typically there is widespread pessimism and the market falls substantially. This can be a point of maximum opportunity. Stocks that were previously overvalued can be bought at lower prices or more shares can be bought for the same amount of money. After that, history tells us that markets can recover, with the cycle starting again. It is important to realise that markets tend to fluctuate in the short term, but over the long term we generally see growth.